y'all, Jim Panky here with a tune that kind of started on a dare, but also started with a student of mine from several years ago. And it was a huge Alabama fan and his parents were huge Alabama fans. And it's like, he's like, man, it'd be cool if I could play Sweet Home Alabama on the banjo. So this is the break that my student and I worked up for this tune. And it's a good example of how you can take things that you already know, add a couple of things, and have a fun break to a tune that's not typically played on the banjo, obviously. Uh, it's, it, it's not difficult, and this is something you can do, and I'm just going to go through it slow and show you a couple of the things that might be a little different for you. There's one really cool lick, but it's it's a breeze. I know you can do it. And so let, let's just dive into this thing. But before we get started, as always, if you like this sort of content, please hit that like button and maybe leave a comment. If you want to, please subscribe. And if you'd like to get notifications, maybe ring that bell. All right. Let's get into the song. We are going to be playing in the key of D, but we are in standard G tuning. Close. And we're going to start off with a brand new right hand pattern. And we're going to hold a partial D chord. So index on the third string, second fret, social finger on the second string, third fret. And then the right hand is going to do four, four, two, three, four, one. It's basically the second part of a forward and reverse roll. But we've moved our middle finger up to the inside string. Then we're gonna do that with a C chord, just a partial uh, index finger, second string, first fret. And we're gonna hammer on fourth string of the second fret and it's going to be the same right hand pattern so that sounds like and then we need something in G so we're going to do this I'm going to play it so it's just the third string and then a forward roll with a two to five slide. And I know we've done this in the past. And then we're gonna do a classic 302 lick. And I've got a video for those things out there somewhere. Uh, so you can set up a 302. So you're gonna social finger, third string, third fret, index finger, first string, second fret. And you can play it just like that Three, two, one, five, and then we're going to one, two, four with a pull off. One. So. And then you can bend that three. Clear? I hope so. Now, all of that repeats up to this point. So we're going to do the D again, C, and then our forward roll with a slide. And now here's a brand new lick that when you play it, it will remind you of the, of the lick that you heard in this song on the actual recording. It's it's a it's two pull offs and a slide, but we're going to use the fourth string in between them. So we're going to do a pull off from two. It's just a pull off, and then the fourth string. So, and then at four. So, so pull off four, pull off four, and then we're going to slide from five. To seven so that lick sounds like and I do it with my index you, 
you can do it with your middle if you want. Whatever's comfortable for you. I probably, truth be told, if I played it a bunch, you'd probably see me do it both ways. And a lot of times that's just my brain going, eh, let's try it with the index and see what happens. Well, eh, maybe the middle was better. So it's okay to do that and it's okay to have that thought process. And then there's one more lick that you can do and it's up the neck lick and it uses our chord shapes from my chord series that I just recently posted. And it's gonna use major chord shape. It uses a D chord up the neck, uh, the shape. So ring finger on 12 on the fourth, 11th fret on the third string, index finger is on the second string, 10th fret and pinky is on the 12th fret, first string. This pattern is a little different because we are just going to go down the string. So four, three, two, one. And you can do that, you can do that a couple of ways. Most of the time, I'm just gonna go thumb, thumb, index, middle. You can do thumb, index, thumb, middle if you want. So thumb, index, thumb, middle. I just use my thumb. And then two, three. So and then we slide back to C. And I'm just pinching on one and two. Four, three, pinch, pinch. And I vamp that first pinch. I let I let up on it. And then we to the G chord at the fifth fret. Clear? I, I hope so. So it's just the same shape in three different places. And then we got one more lick that I use in this song, but I bet if you tried it in different tunes, you'll, you'll find it works in other places too. It starts with a index on the second string, second fret, social finger, third string, third fret, and we are going to use our index and ring finger to play those. And I'm just pinching those and sliding. So you can see I've actually come off of the uh, first string with my middle finger. We're up on the second. And that's pretty common through the song. So we're just going to slide. And then it's a pull off at the second fret. And then fourth string, second fret and then first string open. So that looks and sounds like. And then it all just repeats. Until you're tired of playing it. And the vocals work over all of this. So you can sing it, you can play it, you can impress your friends. You can impress yourself, most of all. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, always seeking out new content. Keep learning. Keep playing. Challenge yourself. And we'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.